It's good to be back in the broadcast booth for all you fans around the world that love Major League Baseball news. More news. And more news. And more news. <laughs> well, it's good to be back, folks. And, I mean, how about that football game yesterday? It was phenomenal. I mean, both games were great. I saw the highlights of both. I caught a little bit of the last game between the Giants and the 49ers. I did work yesterday, no doubt about it. I did a mo- I did a preview previously to it, and, you know, I got to admit, you know, when you look at these two games, they were both thrilling. You had two teams that had everything to win, everything to lose. But in the end, they show what character is all about. They show that they know how to win big games, and sometimes you might lose. But they showed real heart. And over the years, I've seen a lot of great games. I've seen a lot of ups, and I've seen a lot of downs. But, folks, I mean, nothing seems to amaze me. I mean, Eli Manning, Tom Brady are two great players. And they've shown it with their amazing wins yesterday to fans around the world. There's no doubt in my mind the fans of the National Football League still love their NFL, even though they had a lockout. They came back, they didn't miss a game of the season, and they managed to put on a heck of a show in their both conference finals, the AFC conference and the NFC. As far as I'm concerned, if someone has been watching this game for more than 20-something years, this is what football is all about. It's too bad San Fran couldn't do it. You know, Joe Montana days and Steve Young days are over. But Alex Smith's a new generation. I think he's going to be a free agent this offseason. I've been hearing some talks, some rumors that, you know, San Fran might be looking for a new, a new QB, but I don't know, you know. I really don't know. You know. We'll see. You know, we'll see what happens. There's been talk that uh, Peyton Manning could get released and he could be a free agent by the Colts. <laughs> I don't think that's ever going to happen. You know, I think they're going to trade Andrew Luck, the number one pick. Um, you know, Indianapolis Colts are a funny team. That's all they need to do, trade off the pick, get a few pieces that they need to build up their defense, maybe add a few offensive pieces to their offense. And, you know, the Colts are right there in the playoff hunt for a Super Bowl. I mean, they'll have a healthy Peyton Manning. Most of their guys are going to be healthy. They're going to be more focused. And they're going to want to show the fans that, what happened in 2000 and the 11, 2012 season was just a fluke, and it won't happen again. You know, they might have lost, you know, 14 games, but, and they fired their coach, Caldwell, and they fired the general manager and president of the team who's been there from the beginning of time, from, from like, since 1998. But that's what happens. Things are not forever. You know, they're, Tony Dungy's not coming back to the team. They just got to stay positive. And that's the way I look at it. You know, you look at the Ravens. I mean, the kicker. I mean, how could he miss that? You know, I'm still trying to figure out how he missed that one. But that's what happens. You know, you're not going to make every shot. You're not going to make every field goal kick. But that happens. We're not perfect. We'll never be perfect. We're only as good as what we're going to be good at. In the end, that's what it is. Just be as good as you're going to be. You know, you know don't be what you don't want to be. Just be as good as you're going to be. In life,
life, you got to take it one day at a time, one week at a time, one year at a time. And for Williams, for uh, Mascarv, I mean, these guys just got to be patient and take one day at a time, man. There's more to life than football. You have your families. You have your normal daily life. We all make mistakes. And that's what happened. It's one of the biggest mistakes of their entire career. Some of these guys might never get another shot at the Super Bowl. But, hey, it's life. Now they still have the hunger. I think the Ravens players will come back. Ray Lewis, um, Ed Reed. I think I think most of the core will come back. I think they still believe their QB, even though I was probably the best he's played in, like, two years, Joe Flacco. So, as far as I'm concerned, the only changes they really need to make is maybe add a few pieces. That's it. Keep the team together and go with what they got. They have a good team. Just keep it going. You know, it's the same thing with the San Francisco 49ers. Maybe just add a few pieces. That's it. You know, keep your KB. Keep everybody. And in the end, you never know. You could go for it. And that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching, folks. Um, the Super Bowl is coming in a couple weeks. Pro Bowl is this past this weekend coming up, but uh, I'm not watching no Pro Bowl. I'm getting ready for the Super Bowl. And who knows? I got no predictions on the Super Bowl. The day before the Super Bowl, I'm going to give you my predictions. That's going to be UFC night. Saturday, like February. I don't know. We'll, we'll just take a look on the calendar. But take care, folks. This is Mark Spencer for review on the games on Sunday in the NFL playoffs, conference finals. They were a heck of a game. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.